What's going on everybody? Welcome back to G Myers World and right now we're going to be talking about three things in this video. The first thing is that many of you guys are asking about the free Randy Moss. How do I get him, G Myers? What's going on? I've been hearing the rumors. People are not explaining it properly. Well, we're going to go ahead and just show you guys right away where you can get all the information. Um, pretty much what they've done. It's a competitive uh, giveaway. So if you go over to the competitive side, you're going to see right there, click to learn more, whatever. You don't really have to click it. It only brings up the Twitter feed. But pretty much what's going to happen is if you watch the actual uh, tournament, uh, the MCS tournament on the 19th, and I believe, what is the other one? We could actually click on, click on it now so you quickly see it. It comes up right away uh, so you guys can see it. I believe that it's going to be the 19th and the 24th. All right, so you're going to watch on both those days, and what's going to happen is you're going to get tokens that you can redeem for that free player, which is going to be Randy Moss. All right, um, it's already been confirmed that he goes into the power-up, so if you currently have a Randy Moss, you will be able to take that Randy Moss out. If he's auctionable, sell him and put the card that you get for free in there by, you know, by watching the MCS. All you have to do pretty much is follow the protocol to link your Twitch account with your EA account. I myself do not link it. Um, I don't really, I don't get drops, I don't get any of that stuff. The only time I get stuff is if they make a mistake and they don't give it to you guys that are linked. I just don't do it. It's no real reason why I don't. I just don't, I didn't feel like linking my account with it, but I know a lot of you guys link it. You get the Twitch drops and you, you know, most of you guys get uh, decent pulls from it. So I want to make sure that you have that information because I think that it'll help you guys a lot. I've told you guys before, I didn't like the Randy Moss. I told you guys I don't like the Deion Sanders and now they made uh, Verrett just as fast as Deion. It's a real joke. So, you know, these players like Randy Moss being free, that just lets you know the kind of player he is. He's gonna burn certain players and play well, like if a dude presses and you know, whatever, he'll get over the top, but he's not Randy Moss. You know, he doesn't feel like Randy Moss in the game, so I've been like just done with it the whole time. Like I'm not even interested in any of it. I'm totally good to go with that. All right, so the next thing is this. The 50 wins in the house rules. All right, so this is the 50 house rule wins uh, pack. Before we open it, I want to show you guys what's going on with it. This is very, very important because when you guys are asking me about, you know, Jimai, are you going to win uh, the 150 house rule games? I'm not going to win 150 house rule games if it consists of what we're doing now with the ones when it starts in the third quarter. Those are too, it's too much. What I think EA Sports is probably going to do is the next house rules will be a much faster paced game. Whether it starts in overtime or whatever it does, I believe it'll be a faster paced game because it's no way they expect people to play 150 of that game because most people won't even quit. They stay the entire game. So that makes no sense. That's not really house rules. You know, it should be quick and easy, get in, get out. That's what I believe. And also you don't really get a lot of stuff for it. Oh, granted, you'll be able to get, um, you know, XP and, um, you know, the XP, and they haven't even resetted the levels uh, for so long, and you'll get 12 vouchers, all that stuff, 20k coins if you do everything, but, you know, for you to spend that much time playing house rules, I don't think it's healthy for you, uh, but it's up to you how you guys want to proceed, but I wanted to make sure that you guys saw that because I did get that question about what was actually uh, going on with it, so I wanted to make sure that I let you guys know. I'm stopping at 50. And the reason that I stop at 50 is because EA lets us know inside when you go to it before it expires, it lets you know all the rewards. So there's really no reason to keep doing it. At 50 wins, that's the max. You don't get anything else after that. You know, you get a thousand coins per win, but like who's going to sit there and play this game forever, you know, going, going through all that. So I would probably avoid that and leave that alone after you get to 50, but it's up to you how you guys want to work it. Like I said, um, whatever makes you guys happy, I'm there for you. So we'll go over now, and remember, we're keeping all of our Harvest stuff. We're keeping everything that comes in because we already know, you know what we're going to be using it for. Whether they make Bo, like I said, a Blitz player or whatever they do, it doesn't really matter. We're keeping all these cards until that happens, and then we'll figure it out later. All right, so we did all of that to get an 88 Eric Wilson. Could have been worse. We could have got an 86. A lot of you guys reported getting 86s, so I think I'm pretty lucky to get that. We still also have the free 92 overall Harvest Fantasy Pack as well uh, from with the vouchers, so that's something else we're going to have to utilize as well. Keep in mind, everything that you guys have right now, we're going to be using once Bo drops. So just hold on to it, be patient. Two more days, bro. Whichever way they do it, we'll be ready for it regardless because we'll have, you know, we'll have collateral. We can get rid of a lot of this stuff, even if it's not something that we need. We saved up, we used 12 of the vouchers to get the free 92. Now we have all these other cards. So I think we're in good shape as far as the free content 
and everything that we got throughout that process. So we just, look, we gotta just hold fast right now and just relax and wait it out. Now finally, we have a new quarterback. I know you guys saw him there. Shout out to everybody that was with me in the stream when we went through it. Uh, you know, Josh Allenson is gone. Um, he's done, you know what I'm saying? Like pretty much the guy's garbage and we're done with him. And that's pretty much where we are with it. I just wanted to make sure we're at 52 or 52 Raiders, but for some reason, some of you guys were saying, okay, so wait a minute. Okay, there he goes. He's at 80 speed now. All right, because like before, I, I don't know what, what happened before, but it didn't register. So I reset the game and I came back and now it's showing that he's a 80 he's an 80 speed so these are his numbers many of you guys that have been utilizing him you already know all that good stuff i was just looking for somebody with a real fast release that i can make sure that i don't lose too much with josh allen he throws the ball very very suitable for me so i am good with this card all right we gave him hot route master and we gave him pass lead elite and that's pretty much what it is i don't know how much how much is conductor because low key if you give him conductor he might oh two ap no we ain't doing that we ain't doing that. Nope, nope, nope. And also, we don't need backfield master anymore. We can go with um the other. I think the other one is probably going to be the same thing because we don't need the hot routes. You know what I'm saying? Improved catching. Don't they have the other one? This is one AP. Backfield mismatch. Yep. So we could just use that one instead because we have hot route master now. So we'll refund that. And then we'll use this one point ability right there with backfield mismatch. Now that we have all the routes, it doesn't matter. He's going to still get the better catching, but we get the routes from having Hot Route Master with uh, uh, Dan Marino. So that opens up more um, AP for us. So now we actually have one more. So if we wanted to, right, which I think is a smart thing to do, we could also give this man Matchup Nightmare because Matchup Nightmare is just the glitch and that works out. So now we just have players that are running around wild. Now remember, with the tight end, it's usually a middle linebacker on the tight end even if it's a sub linebacker as a strong safety. And a lot of you guys were asking like, yo, G. Maya, what about this? What about that? Uh, you know, what if they do this? What if they do that? Well, this is what happens, bro. It doesn't matter if you have Cam Chancellor at strong safety as, you know, as a sub linebacker or if there's an actual middle linebacker. Like say that there's, you know, Derek Johnson there. The game is gonna register it as a, a you know, a linebacker. So, hot, you know, like stuff like nightmare matchup on a tight end is very, very crucial. Also, it helps them to run their routes extremely better now the only other thing that we could do if we wanted to was to give jerry you know give jerry rice an ability because he's a slack guy you know what i'm saying but because he doesn't really have anything that we want to utilize it doesn't really matter you know what i'm saying like it's kind of weird but you know we're, we're running the nasty streaks right now do we need to we probably don't but when we have to run the ball we have so much success i don't really want to go away from it you know what i'm saying because it's so much more it, it's so easy to actually do it, you know, when we have, you know, run the ball on both sides. And we usually get short yardage a lot easier with having the two nasty streaks. So I think that that's pretty cool. If anything, you know, we could probably go, you know, one AP on this to give him the uh, the deep in. But I think we're good the way that it's set up. I don't really believe that Jerry Rice needs an ability because usually when we put him on a route, He's usually wide open, a crosser, a post, whatever. He usually just gets open, you know, with his number. So for now, he's cool. Uh, will we make changes in the future? Probably. But for right now, he's doing what he has to do. In the slot, he's handling his business um, a lot better. You know, 61 run block is pretty decent. So he's still better than Randy Moss in that regard. So that's where we are right now. All right, that's a complete update of what we're doing. We did add uh, Anthony Barr and also... Um, you know, uh, Ed Eduardo Reed as our two new outside rushers in our 4-3. Uh, I will be, you know, touching base with you guys. I'm still labbing it and trying to understand more or less what's going on with it. So that's pretty much where we are with it at this time. I want to thank you guys and girls for watching. Hopefully you're having an unbelievable day. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. One love, y'all.